In today's video, I'm going to be listing off some of the top things to do in South Lake Tahoe. What is up guys? If it's your first time here, I'm Gabriella. I'm an outdoor photographer currently living in beautiful Lake Tahoe and I make videos on mostly Lake Tahoe and the surrounding area. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I am just gonna get straight into the video. Here are some of the top things to do in South Lake Tahoe. Number one is Cave Rock. Cave Rock Tunnel is located on Highway 50 in South Lake Tahoe. This hike is short, easy, and great to do any time of year. From the parking area, it takes about 10 minutes to hike to the base of Cave Rock, and then a little bit of rock scrambling to get to the top viewpoint. From the top, you'll get to enjoy stunning 180 degree views over South Lake Tahoe. Number two is Zephyr Cove. Located off Highway 50, Zephyr Cove has easy trails, prime views of the mountains, and a number of secluded little coves. There's quite a large stretch of shoreline, so it's pretty easy to have a section of the beach to yourself. Zephyr Cove is one of my favorite locations to photograph the sunset in Lake Tahoe. Number three are the casinos. There are four main casinos located in State Line, South Lake Tahoe. Even if you're like me and you're not much of a gambler, the casinos are still worth checking out. You can grab a drink at one of the bars, and there's quite a few restaurant options located within and around the casinos as well. Number four is Heavenly Village. Heavenly Village is home to restaurants, shops, art galleries, and live music. In the winter, there's an ice skating rink, and in the summer, there's miniature golf. This is also where you can take the year-round gondola up Heavenly Mountain. Number five is Valhalla Pier. Located off Highway 89, Valhalla Pier is one of the few piers in South Lake Tahoe open to the public. This is a great spot to come for sunset, and if you're an early riser, sunrise is even better. On the way down to the pier, you'll pass Valhalla Estate, which is also worth exploring if you're into Tahoe history. Number six is Fallen Leaf Lake. Fallen Leaf Lake in South Lake Tahoe is a picturesque alpine lake that features numerous hiking trails and stunning views of Mount Talak in the background. My favorite time to visit the lake is in the spring when the mountains are still snow-capped. Autumn is also a great time to visit, as the Fallen Leaf Lake area is known for its beautiful displays of fall color. Number seven is Glen Alpine Falls. Located towards the back of Fallen Leaf Lake Road, Glen Alpine Falls is one of the most impressive waterfalls in Lake Tahoe. The best time to visit is in the spring. By late summer, the falls are pretty much down to a trickle. You can get as close to the falls as you like, but of course, always use caution. Number eight is Cascade Falls. The trail to Cascade Falls is located right across the street from Inspiration Point on Highway 89. The hike is only 1.5 miles round trip, but you will be climbing a few sets of stone cut stairs. So definitely wear some good hiking shoes and bring a lot of water. Along with the falls, the trail offers beautiful views of Cascade Lake. Number nine is Emerald Bay and the Vikings Home Trail. Emerald Bay is one of the most photographed spots in Lake Tahoe and for good reason, as it has some of the most stunning views of the lake. After you take in the views from the overlook, you can hike down the Vikings Home Trail to the bottom of Emerald Bay. From here, you can check out the Vikings Home Castle, pick up the Rubicon Trail, or hike to Lower Eagle Falls. Number 10 is Lower Eagle Falls. 
Lower Eagle Falls is located in Emerald Bay State Park and can be reached via the Vikings Home Trail. Once you reach the bottom of Emerald Bay, it's a little under half a mile to reach the falls. I would say May and June are the best months to visit the falls. Number 11 is Upper Eagle Falls. The trail to Upper Eagle Falls is across the street from Emerald Bay State Park. From the parking lot, it should take about five minutes or so to reach Upper Eagle Falls. You can end the hike at the falls or continue on towards Eagle Lake. Number 12 is Eagle Lake. From the Upper Eagle Falls Bridge, the hike to beautiful Eagle Lake takes about 15 minutes. Even though the hike is short, you will be climbing a lot of stone stairs. Also, the trail becomes a little unclear at times, so it's a good idea to Google map the trail before starting it. Eagle Lake is located in Desolation Wilderness, so you will need to fill out a permit. You can fill out a permit in the Eagle Falls parking lot. Number 13 is DL Bliss State Park. Just north of Emerald Bay State Park on the southwest shore of Lake Tahoe is DL Bliss. This is one of my favorite spots on this list. It's home to Lester Beach and Callaway Cove, which looks like an alpine paradise. Number 14 is the Rubicon Trail. The Rubicon Trail is one of the most beautiful hikes in Lake Tahoe. It connects Dio Bliss and Emerald Bay State Park and has stunning views of the shoreline the whole way. This trail is absolutely gorgeous. If you wanted to hike from DL Bliss to Emerald Bay State Park and then back, it would take about 10 miles, which is a lot of hiking. I prefer to start from DL Bliss, hike a couple miles, and then turn around. Number 15 is Spooner Lake in the fall. If you're visiting Lake Tahoe in autumn and you're looking for a good spot to see fall colors, then look no further than Spooner Lake. By mid-October, the picturesque walking trails around the Spooner Lake area are lined with brilliant orange and yellow aspens. Spooner Lake is located off Nevada State Route 28. All right, so those were some fun things to do around South Lake Tahoe. If you're looking for a few more ideas of things to do, I recently made this video called Lake Tahoe in the summer, 10 awesome things to do. So go ahead and check that out. I've linked it in the description below. If you like this video or found it helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give it a like. And if you have any questions or if you have any video suggestions for me, go ahead and leave those in the comments. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.